Well, morning folks, or afternoon, or whatever you are. Coffee and Revelation. Um, forgive the dark glasses again. You know, it's, it's weird because it's actually really cold, but beautiful sunshine, and I love that. But we are just in chapter six, and we're going through the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And great imagery and great truth for today. So, chapter 6, verse 3. When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other. To him was given a large sword. So, the scroll, seven seals, the first seal, the, ho the white horse comes out, and that's war. The second seal, and remember this scroll is about human history. The second seal is the red horse. Now, what's the, the red for? It's the red of bloodshed, of people killing one another. How's that different from the first horse? Well, the first horse is talking about warfare between nations. This one is talking about something that in, any, in some ways is even worse, and that is the whole question of internal division. So division between nations is one thing, division within nations is another, as is division within communities and churches and homes. And this is the kind of bloodshed that comes from insurrections, from terrorism, from tribes, clans fighting one another. Now I pretty well guarantee you, I, I go and watch ABC News and pretty well every week there is a record of or a report of someone else being killed in a gangland killing in West Sydney. You can look at the, the wars, internal wars within countries. I mean, in some sense, Ukraine has for a number of years been a civil war between some of the Russian-speaking part of Ukraine and the Ukrainian-speaking part, the more um, pro-Western part. Of course, that's now gone out to being a full-scale war, even though Russia just calls it a, um, an action or something. In the world today, in, in Sri Lanka, there's civil unrest. In Myanmar, there's civil unrest, which is leading to bloodshed. In Argentina, in Sudan, in Nigeria. There are numerous countries where that occurs. I uh, loved studying the English Civil War and have read a great deal about it. I'm from Scotland, where there has been infighting. Think of between the different clans. And that kind of division is around today. You know, people hate and kill one another, and people stir up hatred. Ever since Cain and Abel, that's been the reality of humanity. So, what can we say about all of this? If history is a, a history of wars, if history is a history of division, how do we deal with that? You know, I do think about the division within nations, but also you just think of the divisions in your own life. I mean, have you got any kind of family dispute, people who haven't spoken to you or things that you're worried about? Division within your work, division within you know, politics. I, I hate the visceral nature of, of politics here in Australia or what's happening in the United States and to some extent in the UK as well and certainly what's happening in Scotland where you're either for us or you're against us. And it's bitter division which will eventually lead to, to bloodshed if it hasn't already done so. So what's the answer to all of that? To me it's very clear. The lamb opens the seal, tells us this is what's going on. Who is the only one who can conquer death? Who is the only one who can bring peace? That is Jesus Christ. I was at a conference yesterday and 
it was talking about how we communicate through digital media this good news of Christ. And you were talking about what our brand is. Well, I'll tell you what our brand is. Our brand is Christ and our brand is his peace and his good news. So remember that. Uh, join us on Sunday for Songs for Sunday. And next week we will come on to the third horse. God bless you and see you then. Bye.